Hello students, I am Meena from Jawaharlal Nehru College. The topic which is going to cover is factors to be considered in selection of warehouse from the subject logistic management for first year BCom students. This is university repeated question. So we will discuss about the factors which are to be considered for selection of a warehouse. The first factor we should consider in our mind before selecting a warehouse is the location. The location which means suppliers and the customers where it is located because we are going to get the goods from our suppliers place and also we are going to distribute the goods from the warehouse to customers place. We should consider the both places. Uh, it should be minimizes the cost whether we are going to distribute the goods uh, within region or to nationwide or international wide that should be considered before selecting a warehouse and and the next point is access it should easy for transportation facilities like uh, like we are going to distribute the goods uh, through the road by means it should be located nearby the uh, national highways in case we are going to import or export overseas, the goods have been exported or imported uh, to the overseas, it should be near by the warehouse should be located nearby seaports. So likewise, the transportation facilities should be uh, easily uh, accessible by the service providers or by our clients. The next one is client profile. We should also consider our client profile before locating the warehouse whether our clients are doing small businesses or big businesses whether where they are located and what are, they, what are their expectation what kind of services uh, they are uh, expecting that should be considered while locating the warehouses and the next point is storage area we should also consider the capacity of a warehouse because in case our warehouse may be very smaller in size there is no possibility for future expansion because if the size is very big, we may expand our uh, businesses in future. And the next factor we should consider is association membership. Whether the warehouse service provider, uh, they are active, active members in any association. For example, IWLA, International Warehouse Logistics Association. Why the membership is necessary is it may be increases commitment to learn and improvement of the service provided. So we should also consider the association membership of warehouse service provider. And the next factor we should consider is the experience of the warehouse service provider because the experience service provider may provide tailored fulfillment services. But the warehouse provider uh, is don't have any experience means uh, they don't know exactly what kind of services uh, we are expecting because it depends upon the business nature of industry the service may be differ so we should also consider the experience of the service provider also for example uh, in case if we take food distributor the service which are record by uh, our customer may be different in case we are distributing electronic items our warehouse services may be differ from food distributor so we should consider the uh, industry uh, kind of industry and kind of business and the next factor is employees we should always prefer the experience and well knowledgeable employee for a warehouse because well knowledge and experienced employee may provide better service so we should also consider that whether if we choose the employee uh, warehouse whether the warehouse uh, uh, has proper experienced employees or not we should consider that also and the next point is value added services we should also consider um, whether uh, the warehouse service provider only provide basic storage service or they are providing additional services like shipping packages inspection dispatch reporting labeling and inventory reverse logistic Inventory reverse logistic means goods return back to the supplier's place. So whether they are providing these additional services or not, we should also analyze that. And the next point is we should consider the risk taken by the warehouse service provider because in warehouse we are going to store lakhs, crores and crores of products. So it, the safety of a warehouse, it should be 
considered mainly and uh, it may get damage or it may uh, get theft by the outsider so we should consider the risk factor that is taken by the service provider and uh, the warehouse service provider should also ensure the goods which is showed in the warehouse and the next point is technology uh, do they rely mostly on manpower or machines because uh, the so warehouse service provider if they are updated with the technology they will provide fast and uh, speed services because if they are using machines and uh, uh, conveyors for uh, providing or uh, for handling materials it is very easy to complete the work in the warehouse so we should also consider that um, if the company the if the war in warehouse if they uh, if manpower is uh, high compared to the machines uh, the workload may be very high and the work may be get slow so we should always uh, record to update uh, the technology thank you